Person-centered planning is a process, it's a discovery process of what's important to a person, which we typically know, even though we might not always say it out loud, we know it intrinsically, but also what's important for them. So then you look at health, safety, um, and we typically lean towards health and safety without looking at quality of life. So then I just turned the corner and um, said, whatever's here, this is where I'm supposed to be. And um, the lady um, in the room was Charlene Comstock Galligan, and she was facilitating DreamWorks. And so we had to identify what was our fear, which I was very clear on, um, and could articulate that beautifully. And then it came to what is your dream? What is your vision? What do you see? And I couldn't do that so well because I was clouded by fear. But once we got through that um, process, you know, she does. Charlene was relentless. We had to have an answer that made sense before we could move forward. And so, you know, we talked about how we wanted our daughter to have some independence and that we wanted her to um, be an active and contributing part of her community. And so then we went on to some other questions about where will she live, who might she live with, what about work, rec, leisure, all those things. And then at the end, it's what are we doing today that gets us there. DreamWorks was an informal planning process and there's formal planning processes and as um, our daughter's gotten older and just as time has progressed and you know how things change, um, we've used more formal processes but it is, it's not something you want to do once and put it away and walk away from. It should be a living, breathing document that's updated frequently. So it has guided us and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because we had a vision and our boat wasn't going to be rocked. <laughs> so we were on our way, and that drove everything we did.